dream pudding. And what you're going to do for that is you're going to take an avocado. Now I talk about food combining and how important it is to combine your foods properly. And I have a food combining chart in both my books. I do feel that it's important. This one recipe is not combined well. So what I'm saying is it's really delicious. It's a great chocolate replacement, but it's not something you want to be eating every day. All right? But it's really fun to bring to a party, and people are always surprised how much it tastes like chocolate pudding. So you're going to take an avocado, and you're going to slice the avocado in half. And you're going to scoop out the flesh of the avocado, and you're going to scoop that into the blender. So any of you who came in late, this is my daughter, Gabriella Ramsey, and she's preparing the chocolate dream pudding now, and she's putting in the avocado. So it's just the flesh of one avocado. And then you'll put in a bunch of dates, and that depends on how sweet you want it, all right? So, you know, we're going to put in a bunch of dates that were pitted. Uh, the recipe is also in the sauces. I have a section on sauces, salad dressings, and dips, and it's in that section. Um, then we are going to put in raw carrot powder. Now, carrot powder is sometimes hard to find. Most health food stores have roasted carrot powder, but then you've taken away a lot of the nutrition when you're roasting it. So you want to try to get it raw. There is a store in Manhattan called High Vibe. They always have raw carrot powder. They have other great things too. I get my uh, unsalted organic sun-dried tomatoes there. And if you order $49 worth of stuff, there's no shipping costs. So like in the winter, I'll put in a big order to High Vibe. And that's where I get my raw carob. And it is the best raw carob. It's really tasty. So um, we're going to put in, you know, at least three big heaping tablespoons. Some people like to put in even more. You know, we, we might add. We're going to taste it and see if it's to our liking, and we might add more carrot powder. What's the same with cocoa powder? Cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. I don't recommend cocoa and I don't recommend uh, cacao either um, because there's caffeine. And so I wanted to have a chocolate taste but without the stimulant. Okay, now um, I add vanilla to mine, but they couldn't locate the vanilla beans. So you can add a little bit of vanilla bean or ground vanilla powder. That's also really nice. And um, Gabrielle is just going to turn on the blender and ground it up. <laughs> 